friends. Hi, friends. Welcome to Storytime with Jess. Today we are reading I Wish I Was Big. This book is by Kelly Jean Leetart. I wish I was big, Lizzie mentioned while reading a book. What would you do if you were big? Mommy asked her. Lizzie began talking fast because she was anxious to share her ideas. First of all, I'd use markers, not these silly old crayons. Mommy smiled and offered a suggestion. If you are bored with your crayons, use chalk or paint or even Play-Doh. Well then, I'd stay up late, late, late until the stars came out. Oh, and I won't take a nap or rest one little bit the whole day through. Yes, Mommy agreed, staying up late is a special treat, but getting enough sleep at night will give you the energy to play the next day. Your body is growing. It needs downtime at night to keep you healthy and strong. With wide eyes in a dramatic twirl, Lizzie exclaimed, I'd go to the movies and buy extra big popcorn and boxes of candy. Nodding, Mommy gently said, Someday we'll take you to the theaters, but they can be very loud and sometimes little bottoms have trouble keeping the seats down. For now, let's enjoy watching videos cuddled on our beanbag chairs at home. Not ready to give up quite yet, Lizzie continued. I'd ride the cool yellow bus to school and stay the whole day. Oh, I absolutely agree that school will be wonderful, Mommy said. But it's also quite fun to make our own schedule and have a good time together while the big kids are away. Kicking her heels in the air, Lizzie declared, I'd wear tall, high heels just like you. Mommy sighed. High heels are fancy schmancy, but your cozy bunny slippers are much more comfortable and won't give your toes ouchies. Now, it was Lizzie's turn to sigh. I'd go to my friend's house and play all day and then spend the night, she said, remembering how her older brother did this just the other day. Mommy understood. Yep, playing at other people's homes is exciting, but so are sleeping downstairs in your sleeping bag and the carpet picnics we have in front of the fire with our family. Sweet Lizzie, even though I think it's fun to look forward to the future, I also know that God wants us to be content with our lives right now. He has given us many blessings for us to appreciate today, not tomorrow. So, if you keep looking ahead, you will miss the exciting things in your life this very minute. Now, Mommy suggested, how about we celebrate today by making some cookies? Sure, Lizzie agreed, but only if I can lick the spoon. The end. Thanks so much for joining us today with Storytime with Jess. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming next.